the Bills and the Broncos. The Bills are 10 and 3, the Broncos are 5 and 8, and they're playing Saturday football. I'm here for it. Uh, the Bills, they're favored by six and a half. They're playing in Mile High Stadium. Uh, the point total is set at 50. We've had a little shift throughout the week, but it's at 50 right now as of Wednesday. Okay. Josh Allen, he's re entered MVP discussions. He's by no means the favorite that he was to win MVP early on in the season, right? But he's playing at that level, at that caliber again after having that brief slump. Um, a lot of that has to do with his connection to Stefan Diggs, right? Stefan Diggs, he's so far throughout this uh, season, caught 100 of 136 targets for whopping 1,167 yards and five receiving touchdowns. Now, the Broncos, they're on the other side of the spectrum, right? Drew Locke is only completing 53% of his passes right now, and he has as many interceptions as he does touchdowns. That's 13, 13 and 13. Um, but we saw Drew Locke play really good last week against a very good secondary, okay? So Drew Locke, he's got weapons. He's got tools up there in Denver. Melvin Gordon, Noah Fant, Jerry Judy, uh, Philip Lindsay. But is it going to be enough to stop this red hot Buffalo team? Yeah, and don't forget, you know, Hamler's a great player too, and that other rookie sure. receiver. And think about it next year. And I know we don't talk Tim about Patrick. Year, but when they get cut, you know, Sutton back, that they're mm -hmm. gonna have as good a receiving core as there is. I just don't know if I trust Locke. The Bills are on fire. The Bills are still playing for an awful lot, OJ, because they got to clinch that East Eastern Division title. Uh, this is a this is a trap game. However, they just came off of that huge win. Uh, they're one two in a row. They're on the road. It's Mile High Stadium. It's going to be cold. But I just really believe in this Bills team. I've gone from being uh, somewhat skeptical of them to now believing that. You know, Josh Allen has matured so much. You don't see the, you know, the crazy plays that you saw the first two years of his existence in the NFL, the, the errant throws, the fumbles, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I like their receiving core. Their defense really played well last week. They played better than I thought they could. So I'm going to take the Bills in this one. And I think that uh, they'll cover the six and a half. And I think I'm going to take the under. Now, you know me in the under, so I, I, may, I may just – I may ask you, what do you like? Do you like the under or do you like the over in this one? Um, in this game, I think, I think I'm going to take the under as well. And, uh, you know, I was looking up some numbers and stuff because I was really torn on this one, right? But the two teams average a combined 47.4 points a game. That's 2.6 fewer than the total yards for this matchup. And not only that, I actually have Denver covering in this game. And to be honest with you, they it looks to me like they actually play better away than they do at home. I was looking at the points scored at home versus away, and they're a much better away team offensively than they are at home. But I digress. Neither one of these teams can stop the run. Okay, the Broncos defense is allowing, on average, 131 yards per game on the ground is what they're giving up. And the Bills are giving up 117. So, and what do I know about these two teams? They they have a lot of really good running backs will be playing in this game. So I see it see it as a kind of a low scoring affair uh, based on all of that. Um, but I do think that that um, Melvin Gordon, Philip Lindsay, I think they're going to have really big games here, obviously. And I think Bradley Chubb, Justin Simmons, and company that defense. I think they're going to do just enough to actually cover in this game. But of course, I have the Bills winning. So there you have it. You think I'm crazy, Jeff? No, I no, I think it's going to be a it's it's going to be seven, eight, ten point game. I don't think in any no way it's more than a ten point spread. You know how it gets in those kind of games. Late field goal, they don't cover. You know, late field goal, it goes the other way. So I, again, I'm glad you made me feel better because like nobody can pick the point totals like you can, and <laughs> I really think that the under is going to hit too. So I'm going to take the Bills to cover and the under. I love it. I'm going to take. Uh, Denver to cover, but I agree with you on the point total, the under. So there you have it, guys. That's our picks. Let us know in the comments below what you think.